It does look like something from another world, doesn't it? When you have all of these creatures with the infrared light, it's to me, it's, it's mesmerizing. Now she's gotten up and she's carried on feeding. And then if you're wondering about that sharp light, that is the light from one of the, pardon me, from one of the vehicles in this area that are illuminating her because the quality of what we see to the naked eye is pretty much incomparable. I sort of make out her contour and her general shape, but with the infrared light you can just see it a million times better. So this is why we use it and why other guys without the infrared light, well they've got to use the spotlight to be able to, to see her better. She seems to be quite hungry and she's got quite a big belly, so I'm sure she's eaten quite a lot. And every now and again we hear the crunching of the bones. Now she's not too far away from Chitra Dam, so if she wanted to go and have a drink there, I'm sure that would be the best spot. She's got the kill up here at the tree. So, a very good day for her. Proud cat mama, you're wondering how many teeth do leopards have? Well, I would guess that probably the same amount of lion, uh, the same amount as lion, so my guess is going to be 32. However, I'm not 100% sure, but I, if I had to guess, I would put it between 30 and 32. Hopefully that's correct, but I will double check once we get back and find out, and we'll let you know. Well, we had a similar question a while ago, and lions definitely 32, so I would assume leopards are probably the same. Look at those whiskers. I love the way the whiskers look in the light. Now you see, that's what I was telling you earlier when you were wondering as how she manages to cut through the skin. That's exactly what she's doing there, putting her head on the side and then using her molars just to cut through the skin and be able to expose the, the skin, the muscles underneath, because that's actually really what she wants to try and eat. So she manages to get some of them with her front teeth. And now you see she's just using her paws to hold down the prey while she pulls and manages to get pieces of meat. Beautiful. <laughs> Looking very regal up there. And it's such a such a stunning view of her in this tree. We decided not to move. We decided that this was probably the best view for now. Um, just because here we can see her face. Whereas I'm a bit afraid that if we move around and we start bashing around the bushes then we're just going to see her body and not her face. But we'll definitely try a new angle just a little bit better. But we thought we'd give this one a try. Seeing she actually got up and she's a bit more active and she's feeding all around. <laughs> Beautiful girl. There were rumors of her mating with, oh, I think, Tingana a while ago, so I wonder if there's anything in that possibility, or if perhaps Tingana was just distracted in between her and Tandi. I could potentially be making this up, but I, th I think I remember something along those lines not too long ago. Okay, so Lou agrees. She was definitely mating with Tingana about a week ago. Okay, good. Good to know that I'm not going crazy and making up <laughs> parallel lives for the leopards around this area. So if everything goes well, hopefully she'll have her, I believe, first litter of cubs. So here's, here's to looking forward to her maybe potentially being pregnant and having tiny little ones later on. Lara, you're wondering if Kuchala could be a pregnant girl right now. Well, she's clearly done mating with Tingana, which means her Easter cycle is finished, so that is one of the possibilities. I would really much hope that she is, but I suppose we'll only find out in time, because it's very hard to tell from here, but if she's been mating, there's a very good chance that she is. Although normally when they're quite this young, it takes them a little while before they actually conceive. Oh, that's beautiful. So hopefully, although with that big fat belly that she's got full of diker, <laughs> it almost seems like she's got, she's full of little cups. She looks very funny. She looks like a very strange ball with a head. <laughs> what a way to spend the afternoon. Our beard, you're wondering what her name means. Well, Kuchawa is a word for Shangan that it's been roughly translated as scared, but it's, 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 it refers to somebody that's a bit shy slash scared. So apparently when she was little, she was quite shy. 
and uh, she wouldn't like to be seen from vehicles all that much. And from Tristan's experience, and Tristan's another one of the presenters at Safari Live, that he actually used to guide at Chitua many years ago, um, that she was actually quite uh, a skittish little girl, or that's what what she was famous for. But it seems like she's grown into into quite a relaxed one and funny enough even leopards that are a little bit scared of humans and of cars they are a lot more relaxed during the night I think it's probably because they feel like they've got the dark cover on their side probably feel a little bit better with that but that's her beautiful Kuchala and this is a brand new leopard for me too I have never seen her before so it's always wonderful to get to, new, to, get to see new ones but likely if I were to see her in the daylight I wouldn't recognize <laughs> I wouldn't recognize her, so here's to putting it out in the universe that I would like to see her during the daytime as well. <laughs> there we go, the other vehicle has switched off their lights, and now we get a full infrared view of her. Richie, you're wondering why she left in Ghana after mating with him. Well, leopards are not really sociable animals and a male and a female will only come together or start looking for one another just for mating purposes and while they mate, the females become um, really desperate. That's the word for a female leopard in heat. And um, they're constantly looking for the males and they want to mate and they're constantly offering themselves. But once her, her cycle is done, then they pretty much just leave and the male goes one side and then the female goes on to and she carries on with her life like they 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 are not sociable animals like for example lions do they want to live in prides or in leaps of leopards as the name would have it so the only times where you will see leopards or more than one leopard is the case of a mother and cubs and or a case of mate or a mating pair other than that it's very normal to see them just on their own I think her Easter cycle just came to an end and she because it normally lasts only about four or five days and if she falls pregnant or if she is pregnant right now she'll have her cubs in about three months time and if she's not then likely in a few weeks time she's gonna start looking for another partner probably Tingana again as he seems to enjoy this area who knows maybe she'll even attract quarantine you can hear the crunching of the bones Definitely feeding. <laughs> Trying to get through as much meat as she can. There we go, cutting through the skin again. That's when she tilts her head sideways, carries on. No, it's sometimes it's a bit hard to try and convey the sounds that, that we hear and every now and again we hear the crunching of the bones. If we do again, I'll point it out once more. Hopefully we'll be able to hear it, but she's not not um, she's not allowed <coughs> chewer <laughs> so it's hard to hear now she keeps <coughs> gazing in that direction so I wonder if perhaps if perhaps there's a hyena coming around somewhere it's almost some sounded like something was walking in the grass but I'm not too sure like I said, it's very hard to see now in the dark and I have no idea what she's looking at but whatever it is, apparently it didn't bother her too much. Now, there's another vehicle behind us, so I, we might have to move. Um, yep, seems like they're fine for now. I think maybe we'll, we'll try to move to give these guys a chance. So just bear with me for one second. We're gonna move. Let's see, maybe we can get a bit of a different angle. There's another vehicle behind us and they will not have access to her, but I think what we're gonna see now is gonna be epic. Ooh. All right. Seems like Jamie is still with her lovely lions and Kuchava is all the way up here on the tree. She doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So we're going to stick around with her for a while longer, see what she gets up to. I'm sure she's going to finish devouring this carcass. But while we do that, let's go over to Jamie and see what the lions do in the darkness. Hopefully they'll be getting up to a little bit of eating themselves.